The reptiles that Yas he says are concentrated in London, how are they camouflaged among the population? It is that this 3D species looks human, only with scales. So, dressed as humans and with dark glasses, face mask and gloves, according to the current situation, they can walk among people without being seen as something strange. Only the ones from King Race, because they don't have tails. There are three variants of Kingu, greens, reds and whites. The greens are the lower class and they do not have a tail, the other two do. The whites are royalty, the reds are the ones who take care of them, they are like their military, the greens are its servant population. It is worth mentioning that the terrestrial kingu reptiles are not a holographic society, but a society ruled by seven pyramidal castes. And are they 3D species? Yes, 3D, but they hide. They are not of another density, they are very tangible and highly visible by the human population. So, the greens are the ones that mix with the population? Let's say at least mostly them. They are green with a light beige belly. They call them yellow belly as a mockery. And their height is like a human being? Yes, or a little higher, but they pass like humans at first glance, except for skin and eyes. So the current situation, like masks, has turned out to be convenient for them. And the Queen of England is a white king. Good question. What I do know is that she is a priestess, but I have never heard that she is royalty to the Kingu. It may be that it is only royalty for humans and only be fulfilling a role and not be it for reptiles. It would not be the first time. So, the Kingu, being 3D, are they the ones that were created here? Or were those the Usungal? The information from Anton Parks and our differs. Anton Parks says that the Kingu created the Usungal, and we have data that the Usungal, being older and interstellar, were the ones who created the Kingu. That is to say that the Kingu are terrestrial, intraterrestrial, or semi-intraterrestrial. I feel like Anton Parks has it backwards. And how many races of reptiles are here now? Countless, but the most numerous are three species of Kingu. The usual ones, their masters, the Yusungal and the Draco. All mostly regressive. In spacecraft in orbit are the Alpha Draco, but they are positive. Draco and the Alpha Draco are not the same species. And another question about the reptilian races. The Naga, and I think you once mentioned the Seraphim, are they also slaves of the Draco and Usungal? I don't have much information about Naga, but they are yet another race, quite regressive as well. Seraphim also related to gargoyles. They are like slaves or guards of the intraterrestrial caves of the reptilians. And is there a reptilian race or group here that is not regressive, apart from the Alpha Dracos? Yes, but I don't know the names at this time. That's how irrelevant they are. However, in the works of Mary Rodwell, many starseed children indicate that they are of very loving, positive reptilian races. They do exist. I just have no information to share about them right now without investigating. But as you will see, they are not common here in orbit. Thank you. I understand that there must be few positives then.
Note that many races called reptiles are not necessarily reptile-based, but only have a reptilian appearance. Some look like reptiles, but they are mammals. This one is in line as an alpha draco, but it is not. This one is similar to a draco. The draco are somewhat humanoid, but with wings. They are large and warriors in nature, generalizing, or from what is known, 95% or more of them are regressive invasive in nature. Danger 9 of 10. This is a web image of an Alpha Draco below. As you can see, an Alpha Draco is a dragon. Alpha Draco, as opposed to Draco, are mostly positive. Despite their appearance, they are progressive and cooperative, very protective, but difficult to interact with because their culture is very different from that of someone of Lyrian origin. They have culture, they are not animals, for lack of a better word, but they rarely wear clothing or limited, more than anything jewelry. They are still dominant, Dangerness 10 out of 10, tied with the Urma. But both are positive, although there are still regressive factions of Alpha Draco, and they are considered gods to the Usungal or the Kingu on Earth. Dragons are not mythology, they are an intimidating reality, present in virtually every culture on Earth, no matter where, you will always find a dragon. At the time of Atlantis, there was Alpha Draconian influence, but independent, only interacting when it suited them. They have not always been positive, especially at that time, reason for so much legend. If they are regressive, they end, destroy and take everything. The good thing is that the regressives are very rare nowadays, almost non-existent. However, the Alpha Draco, whatever their inclination, their society has always been very closed, watching for their own interests. This is logical since its physical form does not allow another kind of social development or interaction even with other reptiloids. However, they are a very ancient species or group of species, and they are not primitive, just very incompatible with other races but they are highly interstellar with gigantic ships, kilometers long, shaped like something similar to an artichoke or a maguey plant. And is it true those myths that they guarded the gold? It is highly probable that this is all real, because like any other race, they need gold for their technology, transport and ships. Thank you.